so I thought I would do like my perfect fall day. Now, I know you guys see my hair and you're probably like, what is going on? Well, I did it. I finally relaxed my edges, you guys. Yes, I love it. So obviously I had to wash it out and everything. So the first stop is definitely going to be the dry bar. What is a perfect day without going to get your hair done? So that's where I'm headed. I am late right now. Today has just been a day. You guys know that type of day, like to the point where your morning is so bad, it'll literally bring you to tears. That is like where I was on the verge of. So I just was like, let me pull it in. Let me just take a moment. I don't know what I'm gonna do if they will not see me. I tried to reschedule it online and it said the next available is 7 p.m. It is 10.45 a.m. right now. And I have a lot to do today, including a brand event with Necessaire. So I'm just letting it go. Let go and let God at this point, girl. I've just been doing a lot of stuff with the vitamin line, getting everything together. I'm just kind of feeling a little stressed and flustered right now. Oh my God, and I started my period. My cramps have been so bad because it came a little earlier. So I did not get to take my hormone pills leading up, which you guys know just eases it for me so much. So mentally, I'm just like all over the place right now it feels like oh shoot oh my god thank goodness i did not miss that turn traffic is backed up space was supposed to come he got a last minute call from his attorney then they were on the phone and then he couldn't find what he wanted to wear like you know when you have misplaced that one freaking thing that you have seen all day and night for the past week then when you need it it's just magically not there so he's flustered so he had to get on the call so he wasn't able to come all i know is i hope they can get this hair together now other than all this once i'm in the chair and getting my hair done then everything will be fine i have such a fun day planned and something really exciting for my vitamin line that we have to do today so just bear with me Vice President Kamala Harris. 
and a lot of you guys were asking why I went to dry bar and then my follow-up appointment whole concept behind that was to go to the dry bar get it done and styled how they do and then just go and have her cut it into layers as is I did not know that she was gonna wash me up and everything so girl when she said go to the bowl I was like, oh my gosh. I was just trying to come through and get a haircut, girl. I have a few returns I have to make at the UPS store, which is right here by Smith, so this is perfect. Oh my gosh, you guys, I did not realize I had to print this for Amazon. Why am I at this computer printing this out? She was kind of like on the fence and when I passed by I was like it is so good she's like really and so she grabbed some and she was like then I have to try it so no I did not just sell some up in the store <gasps> new hot flavor oh my goodness and what do I see right here the prime Just a few bags and flowers. You know it's not a fall day without Starbucks. Oh my freaking gosh, you guys. I forgot to get decaf. <laughs> One of them is something from Fashion Nova, so I thought we could do a quick little fall try on haul. But first, girl, we are gonna do the iPhone 15 unboxing right now. Space's phone just got here, girl, and he is so tired, you guys. He gets up and has an 8 a.m. meeting every single day, Monday through Friday. He is so tired that he had the nerve to say, babe, you just unbox it, I cannot. <gasps> Here it is. Oh, and what else did he get? Oh, 20 watt power charger. The Drop Plus Defender Pro. Ooh, very thin, sleek case. Let's do the honors. Oh my gosh, it is so thin. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wait, babe, is this the wrong color? I thought you got titanium. Okay, they sent you the wrong color then. They sent you the white one. Oh shoot. Shit, well, it's too late now. It's already open. Let me just. Okay, you guys, babe's a little upset that that is the wrong phone, which I completely understand. So, um, he's not gonna set it up right now. He's gonna have to fix it and, you know, get the right one and all that. So, girl, we are gonna move on to our fall fashion haul. 
Let's see what I got. I don't know if I told you guys this, but I actually threw away my entire wardrobe. I just wanted a whole complete fresh new start. I'm doing something very different than I have always done in the past. In the past, I have always just got super contemporary, fast fashion, just kind of buying anything that I love with like no rhyme or reason, no matter the color, pink, black, white, silver, purple. But you guys see now, I'm going for a more elevated, classic, effortless, timeless look. I just used to get everything in bulk but now it's kind of fun to just kind of curate your closet slower with just like a different taste you know so I am obsessed with the flare freaking leggings and I got that to go with this Ooh, love these leggings and then I just got some basic tees I'm gonna put this on first you guys know I have been wearing that damn white sweater over my shoulders like so many times at this point I'm like okay I need some new white stuff so what is so in right now is definitely the basic long sleeve tees this top is very very see-through so keep that in mind I have been all about just going braless lately you guys so Here's the sweater that I got. It just says Hamptons and they kept selling out of this sweater. So I had to get a 1X because I didn't know if it was gonna come back, but I really loved it. Let me just try it on like this. Oh my gosh, how cute. Let me try it on with my Uggs. Oh my gosh, how cute. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at the gray. Okay, and here's just the same top, but in a black. I got these super cute ballet flats. Oh my God. So believe it or not, ballet flats are back, but it is not like the 2000s vibe. It is now the Lily Rose depth vibe. These I love because they have like this cute little crystal detail across the front. Can you guys see? That is all I got from there. I actually made another order on H&M. So this was kind of like the filler pieces. I got more things on H&M and they should be here. I was hoping they'd be here for this video, but they'll probably be here for our next video. But I never showed you what I got at Forever 21. I know we did a full try on there I ended up going with the gray long pico in the size medium that I tried on for you guys first super cute love and it goes down almost to my ankles you guys and I'm very tall so I love that about this pico and the color and I ended up going with the Barney's New York sweater duh I had to get this and the matching wide leg joggers, which I'm obsessed with because the way that they did the cut on the leg. And then girl, I had to get the bodysuit that fit me like a glove. Love, love, love. So that's what I got there. It is now time to start our cozy lentil soup. I'm gonna show you guys how you can just make a really hearty, warm, delicious, healthy soup at home. You can control your ingredients. It has a lot of vitamins and minerals, especially around the time when a lot of people start getting sick. So it builds your immune system and your boyfriend or husband or honey is going to love it. Men love home cooked food like this, okay? And this just came in the mail today from Lori L. Let's see real quick what this is. Ooh, it's called Bright Reveal. Ooh, Derm Validated Dark Spot Power Duo. Dark Spot Serum. I know a lot of people struggle with dark spots and hyperpigmentation. This would be perfect for that. Bright Reveal Daily UV Lotion 50. That is so cool. Okay, they just fell out, but Alani New sent me their new energy drink and this is so cute you guys.
guys. It is specifically for spooky season and it is called Witch's Brew. And it is so good. It is like granny apple flavor. Look at the sky tonight, you guys. It's so pretty. Yes, fall. First, we're just gonna cut up our celery. I cut up everything that I buy because I'm going to end up making another pot through the week. As you guys know, I no longer have my huge stock pot, so I do have to split it up, even though I could use another pot and do it now, but just because I don't want it to take all night, I'm just going to do half now, but cut everything up. So here's everything. I did kind of take everything out and had to do kind of a head count of what I had before I went to the store. This is kind of everything for the peach pie and for my lentil soup. Welcome to the infamous kitchen. I am so excited about this. I'm gonna start by putting on my apron. I actually got this like 10 years ago. I have just loved it ever since. You have to have an apron if you're gonna be cooking in the kitchen. Especially like if you're doing a dinner party and you have to get dressed but you still need to finish off your cooking. I am just going to sharpen my knife. I got this amazing knife sharpener several years ago. It has just changed the game for me since we cook at home so much. Now, to start our lentil soup, you're just gonna start with your two bags of lentils. Put them in this large bowl because we are going to wash our lentils first. A little tip, the longer you let your lentils soak, you know, up to four or five hours, or if you wanna do them in the morning before you make them, the quicker they will cook. And I just kind of shake them. See how dirty that is? Make sure your veggies are organic and that you clean them, of course. You want them organic so all those bad pesticides and chemicals are not on your food. I'm just going, oh my gosh, and you guys, how pretty is that? I save all of my veggie scraps and make vegetable broth with them. So I'm gonna keep them to the side. Cut in one inch pieces in the carrots and the celery. I just kind of line them all up and cut them off like that. And this makes beautiful broth, you guys. So you wanna keep that. And this is exactly why you wanna make sure you have a really nice sharp knife. Now when you get them down to the skinnier ones, you make them a little bigger so they cook evenly. And we're gonna grab our onion. We're gonna take both ends off. Again, keep these scraps. You wanna keep the skin of the onion. That has a ton of flavor. Onions are hard to cut, girl. They be having you crying. I use my little food processor. I do not have time for that. So you just cut it into thick pieces. I'm already crying, you guys. Oh, this one's getting me good. Oh, I'm crying. Toss that in. I literally can't keep my eyes. Oh, oh, oh. My eyes have always been so sensitive to this. Oh my God, put that lid on. I swear, when you have green eyes, they are just sensitive to everything. I love you too, baby. Babe, I'm not crying yes, over you your love. Yes, you are, and you know it, and I love you, and I love it. We're gonna do some coriander, cumin, some oregano, garam masala, and some of this Irish moss from Alginus, garlic salt, and you just do it all to your liking. This 
Thai kitchen green curry paste. Girl, Space's grandma put me onto this for the lentil soup. It is the most amazing. It kind of tastes like a seasoning salt paste mixed with that chicken um, cube. So this is where it's at. Okay, you guys, so you just bring this to a boil, turn it down to medium low, and let it simmer for 45 minutes. And girl, that is it. Okay, you guys, so while the soup is cooking, we are actually going to be making the vision board for my vitamin line. I am so excited. I have the board right here. I have all of the stuff that I'm gonna be using. I did not give you guys context on why I even went to Diptyque to get this new candle. So anytime I work on a new project, I always get a candle that I burn continuously through the entire process. Oh, this is the vanilla dip tea. This is what is going to be setting the tone for the entire vitamin line project. I have done vision boards in the past and this time around I've like done huge ones, but I wanted to keep it simple and quaint, cozy, approachable. I didn't want this huge thought out thing. I just wanted something, know what the vision is. And I have some updates for you guys. I have been going back and forth with head of product emailing non-stop so they are finalizing my first set of samples and they will be on their way to me soon you guys i cannot believe it i'm so excited we've just been talking about what's possible what is impossible a timeline and i did not want this to be a headache project that just strained me and stressed me and just went on and on as you guys know cake face took over two years it's just a lot creating a product especially a high quality product from the ground up so I'm so happy that I have a team of experts who have these amazing formulas for the vitamins and I can add or I can take out anything that I want so that is really exciting and guess what you guys I came up with a name I decided between the two I told you last time I'm between two and I came up with the name and I am so excited. I love it. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how to go through the trademarking process like I told you. We'll see if we have time to do that tonight because I know I need to get this video up for you guys. But either way, the whole point of this vision board is to figure out the brand identity, the brand colors, the vision for the brand, and what I do to start out with my vision boards, I come up with 10 words that I wanna use to represent the brand. Number one, grounded, clean, aurovetic, transparent, high quality, intentional, Simple, healing, organic, modern, timeless, and approachable. So that is going to be the core of the brand. I just pulled some fabric samples. I actually got them from Crate and Barrel. You can request samples online. And I just picked colors that I thought I was kind of just filling and into. These are great to use for your vision board. And then I have another one, which are just some nice kind of cool tone grays. And then I got this one from Rogue Concepts. They're a furniture company as well. When I'm ever looking for inspo for anything I do, it's never really related to what I'm doing. I'll just get inspo from high-end settings and say, okay, that's the vibe I like. That's what I wanna create. That's what I want to offer. Like, look at this. I love this color palette. Like, look at that lounger. And what's cool is that I can actually even use any of these for the vision board. So wait until you guys see these. You can also get hardware samples. So this is their glossy white lacquer. 
This is their wood sample. And honestly, I'm just wanting to create something that believe it or not is an extension of my home and my lifestyle. So look at these, oh my gosh, I love this color palette. That boucle. And I also got like this mossy green. I didn't know if I'd be into something like that. So I have a lot to play with. For my pictures, I'm going to be using my Polaroid printer and printing pictures off of my phone. This is the Polaroid at home printer. It's really cool. I'm gonna show you guys how to use it and it'll just print out your pictures for you. And for the markers and the writing, I'm gonna be using these Crayola Colors of the World. And these are so cute because they created these to resemble all of the skin tones around the world. Like, isn't that the cutest color palette? Okay, so here's a closer look at everything. These are the pins that I got. This is how I'm just gonna pin everything on the board. I have these little containers. I thought because I'm going for like a very organic modern vibe, I thought I could fill this up with like cinnamon or turmeric or anything kind of earthy and glue that on there. This is the glue I like using. And because I love this like clean black and white aesthetic, I thought I could just pull these stickers off and add it on my board for some inspo. I I can add any of this like organic looking elements to it. This is the Velcro that I use. Like if there's anything, like if these don't stay with the glue, for example, I just can use the Velcro. And if there was anything around the house, like any of my own decor, I thought I could just take a pic with it and use that. I can show you guys a little bit of my photo album. This is the one that I did for when we went to Bali. And I just have like real things, the money from Bali, any receipts, a copy of my passport, our plane tickets. These pictures I actually printed with my Polaroid printer from my phone. So this gives you an idea of what it'll look like. We actually got on the Hello Kitty flight. This was my Balinese flower bath for my birthday. So this was like the receipt from the spa, some little memories. So this is the actual vision board. I will have this link down below. The soup is smelling so amazing. See, babe, now I want to join. This is looking fun. You can definitely join, babe. You're a part of the company. Would you like to join? I'll join from afar, actually, because I have my own little work I need to actually be working on right now. But yeah. Okay, but you're a part I'll of it. I'll be coming and looking and stuff like that and peeking around the corner. I don't want to mess up your creative flow. Oh, you, know, you can't you know mess up going. time. The infamous is creative flow. You're right, my bad. Once Damn. you know, this is natural, born with it, okay? Don't have to look at what no one else is doing, that's okay? Nice. Nice. I create the own vibe. I created aesthetic online, okay? Great. So. Can't argue that. I already know. Oh my gosh, look. Look how the universe works. A force to be reckoned with. What? So you just open the bottom here. And you just put this right in here. As easy as that. Ooh! These lights tell you how many you have left. So there's eight in a pack. I always start by writing down those 10 words first. Honestly, I want like really minimalistic, like really little. That is the soup, the vibe. Oh yeah, it's looking, oh, and it smells amazing. Oh wow, look at that. Wow, so I'm just gonna turn this off. Okay girl, you always have to do a little taste test. So this is what we're looking like. Smells divine. Mmm, can you use some more salt? That's good. Other than that, the flavor is off the hook.
Okay, you guys, we ate. The lentil soup was amazing. And we watched Netflix, took a little break. And now, girl, I am getting my second wind. And I kind of have a little bit of a sweet tooth, so I'm about to make our pie. But we're just doing a wind down vibe. I love baking at night with just a dim light on and just unwinding. So we're watching Ready to Love. The peach pie is very simple, you guys. There's a few key things that I do. It is is vegan of course for one you want to be sitting out your pie crust for like at least an hour okay or it can crumble and break on you you want some plant milk I always get organic they just taste better you just want some sugar some flour to thicken up your pie a little bit of cornstarch a little bit of baking powder some vanilla this is the vegan butter you want to do this is the best one it's very thick and creamy for baking and then I just use a little bit of the pumpkin pie cinnamon cloves that is it you just season it up to your liking we're just gonna put our peaches in here and cook them i already have the oven preheating a huge trick is that we have to bake this first layer at the bottom before we put in our filling oh and i finally set up my brita you guys and i love it even though it did come cracked there and there's a huge crack back here so we're just gonna see for now girl i don't know kind of rolled down a little bit that's never happened before usually it stays up like this but either way you just want the bottom to get cooked so usually the peaches aren't cut this thick so I'm just kind of mashing some of them not all of them you want some to still be whole but you want these to cook down really well so that they just like melt in your mouth Your favorite is pie. Oh, it definitely is buttery, I will say. Just how I like it. <laughs> Just how I like it. Damn, babe. This looks and smells amazing. Good. 